Born into a true sports family, Don Rutschman was raised to be an all-around athlete. Growing up in Hillsboro, he led his 8th grade baseball team in hitting, pitching, and fielding as they won the state championship for their age group. Don moved to McMinnville in 1968 when his father, Ad, took the head football coaching position at Linfield College, just in time for Don to begin his MHS career as a football, basketball, and baseball player as a sophomore. Being a coach's son helped equip him with the skills necessary to be a student athlete in each sport. Above all things, Rutschman's leadership and will to win was what he was all about, made obvious by playing quarterback in football, point guard in basketball, and pitcher in baseball. After leading all three JV teams to winning seasons in his sophomore year, Don entered his junior football season looking to continue his winning ways on the varsity team. The Grizzlies won the league championship and qualified for the state tournament as Don gained some valuable experience as a quarterback and defensive safety. It was his intelligence in football. He wasn't very big or anything like that, but he knew the game so well because, uh, I, once again, of Ad and his uh, ideas and information that he would give to his kids. And just being around it, their dad and around the game of football or baseball, uh, they learned by, by that. Moving into the starting lineup as a senior, Rutschman had a breakthrough season as he led the team in several categories and to a second place league standing as the Bears only missed out on their third straight league title by just one loss. Rutschman finished a strong Mac High football career by being chosen as the team's MVP and onto the all-league second team. As a junior, his first varsity basketball season was plagued with injuries and inexperienced players, but due to sheer determination and hustle, the Grizzlies clawed their way to a winning season, in large part to Don's leadership. The Bears used the same work ethic along with great speed and quickness in the following season to win 16 out of 20 games and achieve second place in league. They lost a close district playoff game in overtime to barely miss a state tournament berth. Donnie actually was a pretty good basketball player. His senior year, he played on one of the best teams McMinnville ever had that didn't get to the tournament. Don ended his basketball career as the team's leader in assists and free throw percentage and on the all-league second team. Donnie was a, a very good, heady basketball player and was fun to watch, but, but uh, particularly as a high school athlete, baseball was far and away his best sport. Perhaps Rutschman's individual and team successes were greatest in baseball, as he played some innings on the varsity team as a sophomore, but was the team's top first baseman and pitcher as a junior and senior. For three consecutive years, Don's high school and American Legion teams won the league championships and made the state playoffs every season, making it as far as the semifinals once. For his stellar play, Don was rewarded with all-league first team selection both years, an all-state second team selection as a junior, and a spot on the all-state first team as a senior. He was you know, as good a pitcher as there was in the whole state. He had the whole repertoire, fastball, curveball, changeup, good pickoff move. He was a good hitter, a good first baseman, and was a really, really good competitor. Then he had a good breaking ball. Uh, he had one uh, through a pretty good slider, but he also had a curveball, and that's all that really he needed. He got by by the way that he threw the ball in spots. We got a lot of ground balls out of him, and we got a lot of pop-ups out of him because of his control. Uh, it was a little bit amazing uh, about his control. More amazing even than that was his ability to pick runners off first base. Donnie probably had the best move that I ever, ever saw, and I'm sure that Ross may, would probably second that motion too. Even as a 15-year-old, he had the best left-handed pickoff move I've ever seen. Every single game in Babe Ruth, he picked two or three guys off. He was chosen to play in the Oregon All-Star Baseball game twice, and is one of four immediate family members to be chosen to play in that game making the Rutschman family the only family in Oregon's history to have that honor. When they moved to McMinnville and they brought Donnie, who was an All-State baseball player, they brought Ross, who was an All-State football and baseball player, and they brought Randy, who was an All-State baseball player. That's a pretty good addition to your coaching staff, and all of a sudden you become brilliant as a coach. <laughs> so somebody asked me one day, when did, you start, when did you start feeling like that you were having success? And I said, well, when the Rutschmans moved to town. <laughs> he capped off his outstanding MHS baseball career as the state's second best hitter with a 495 batting average. I said, what is your goal today, Donnie? He says, well, 10 strikeouts and one walk. I said, why would you want to walk somebody? Well, I've got to have somebody over there to pick off. <laughs> and so he was very confident in what he did. We were confident in how he was going to perform. And the surprising part about Donnie, besides being an outstanding pitcher for us for those three years. He was a heck of a hitter. Deciding to stay home in McMinnville after graduating from MHS in 1971, Don enrolled at Linfield College to study education and play football and baseball for the Wildcats. Being the head football coach's son meant that he had to outwork his teammates each and every day in practice in order to earn his place on the team. 
Using not only his tremendous work ethic, but also great quickness, the starting wide receiver and backup quarterback did more than just prove himself as the Wildcats compiled a career record of 28 wins and 8 losses, including 3 conference championships and a national ranking as high as 3rd in the country. Individually, Rutschman also flourished as he received 2 all-conference, 2 all-district, and 2 all-area selections, along with 1 all-West Coast and all-American honorable mention honors. By the end of his outstanding football career, Don had finished third on the all-time pass receptions list with over 100, which is still good for 13th today. He always could catch the ball. He was very elusive in the patterns he ran, but he's very smart about knowing the zone coverage and the man coverage and whatever the situation they were in. He was open, you know, anytime he ran a route, uh, he was probably open at a certain part of the route, and uh, he, was, he was tremendous. You know, it's just uh, it was so surprising to me from the time he was a sophomore, what a scrawny little kid he was, to how he developed and ended up as, as far as playing college football. His successes only grew in baseball as he primarily pitched and played some first base while being one of the team's best hitters. Over his four seasons, Linfield totaled a 90 win and 58 loss overall record while winning two conference championships and with Rutschman contributing a 25 and four career pitching record, which is still fifth best in school history. When he wasn't picking off three runners per game, he was striking out batters by the tens with his personal best and current school record 15 strikeouts coming in his final game as a senior. His baseball records have stood the test of time since he is still fourth in career strikeouts, third in complete games, and first in career shutouts, along with being in the top 10 in 15 other categories. He was a uh, tremendous left-handed pitcher still in the record books here at Linfield. He had a, uh, an excellent move to first base as a left-handed pitcher. As an athlete, you know, Donnie was a real competitor and uh, was always looking for an edge. Throughout his astounding baseball career, Don was furnished with a plethora of individual accolades, including three-time all-conference, all-district, all-area, and all-west coast, along with being an all-American honorable mention. He was a district's pitcher and player of the year and the conference's sportsman of the year. He traveled to Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan on the NAIA All-Star team and was then drafted by the Montreal Expos of the Major Leagues after they saw him pitch for three different semi-pro teams in summer league action. However, Don's heart lied where he believed he could make the biggest impact in life, as a teacher and coach. His best asset as an athlete always was he was a really, really good competitor, very intelligent, and always kind of found a way to get things done. He might, in each sport, he might run up against somebody that athletically had more tools than he did, but Donnie could always find a way to beat the guy. Uh, and that's why I always thought from day one when I watched him play that he someday would end up being a really good coach also. He spent the next few years as an assistant football and baseball coach for Linfield while earning his master's degree, eventually taking jobs at St. Helens, Tillamook, and Glencoe High Schools as a teacher and coach. It was at Glencoe where he would have the most success. As a head baseball coach, he brought the school their first ever league championship in any sport and was an assistant coach on their 1986 state championship football team. In his final year there, his Legion baseball team won the state title and finished second in regionals before Don came home to McMinnville High School in 1991, where he has been teaching and coaching ever since. I got a tremendous amount of respect for Don. It took a lot of courage to leave Glencoe High School to come over here after winning a state championship to come back to his alma mater and take over a program that was, you know, running on seven cylinders when he came here and took it over and left something that had just won a state championship. You know, he came here to make a difference. You know, Donnie uh, wasn't af uh, afraid of the challenge and took it head on and, and improved the program and, and taught those kids to compete and improved the program, you know, and made them competitive. So I've always had a tremendous amount of respect for him. Well, I think he laid the foundation for a lot of the success we had when Greg McNally was coach. I mean, Greg did a, a, an excellent job but it was Rutch that got us to a respectable level where the year before I came, there was 17 kids on the JV and varsity team, and uh, McMinnville was playing in the Metro League at the time, and I mean, it was, it was a program that really needed some help, and so Rutch just made it clear when I came on board that the goal was to make it fun and get kids to enjoy the experience, and we're gonna build it that way. His career high school baseball coaching record is most impressive at 258 wins to only 134 losses with three Coach of the Year awards. But most importantly to Don was not the outcome of the score, but whether or not the game was played the right way. Every kid that I've ever associated with out there in football, every one of them loved playing for him. They're always waiting for him to do something. And when things got tense, you know, Rutch was the one. 
who, uh, who would lighten the, the mood, except when he was the head coach. When he was the head coach, he was an absolute basket case. Don Rutschman has contributed to betterment of youth in so many ways. He has taught seven different subjects, coached three different sports, was a department chairman at three different schools, a chairman of the Oregon High School Football Coaches Rules Committee, and was a former president of the Oregon High School Baseball Coaches Association, while being a part of sending over 90 student athletes on to play collegiate football or baseball over his career of 35 years and counting. In 2007, Linfield College honored Don by inducting him into their Sports Hall of Fame, and tonight, MHS does the same, perhaps putting the icing on the cake for a life devoted to athletics.